Great news, guys. We're all gonna be rich. Probably. There are multiple studs going tonight, and honestly, I wish we could just go to sleep, then wake up, and have it be time for the slate to start. But we can't. We got stuff to do. But lucky for us, we can talk about the guys that are gonna stuff a ton of cash in our pockets tonight. There are actually two of them that I know about right now, and we'll get to them in just a second. But first, hit that subscribe button. You know you're gonna forget if you don't do it right now. It happens to me all the time. I see a video that stuffs a bunch of cash in my pockets, I forget to subscribe, and then I can't find it the next day. It sucks, and I'd hate to see it happen to you. Pro tip, get the notifications on too while you're at it, and you'll never have to worry about anything else again for the rest of your life. Anyways, Logan Gilbert, over seven and a half strikeouts, plus 108 at Caesars. This could easily be the greatest bet of all time. Everybody's saying that. For starters, we've got a whiff guy on the mound at home. We love that. The man has 11 plus swinging strikes in each of his first three starts this season. We're talking about a 15% swing and strike rate, which is exactly what we want to see out of the guys that we send out to collect cash for us. But having a stud like Logan is only half the battle. We need the guys swinging the bats to help us out a little, and we have that tonight in the Cincinnati Reds. I'm not trying to hate here, but those guys are whiffers. It's just what they are. They're going to see a ton of sliders tonight. And going through their lineup, not one of them is above a 22.5 K rate on that pitch. It gets even worse. These reds aren't that good on the road either. I count seven of them that could be in the lineup tonight that are all above 32% in strikeout rate on the road this season. That is terrible. My guess is... Logan Gilbert goes at least six innings tonight. He's a horse. He does that all the time. And if that happens, he's sitting down at least eight guys. That's science. Next up, Hunter Green, nine plus strikeouts, plus 136 at FanDuel. We only have to watch one game tonight, guys, because Hunter Green is going against Logan Gilbert's team, the Seattle Mariners. Talk about efficiency. Here's the thing about Seattle. They're a strikeout team, too. It's in their DNA. They do it all the time. It's their preferred way of getting out. In fact, only two teams in the entire MLB have fanned more than the Seattle Mariners so far this season. One of those teams has had like a hundred more at-bats. Guys, I don't know how else to say this. The Mariners are a strikeout team and they're one we should target. Going through the lineup, they've got like seven guys that will swing and miss on sliders with the best of them. Why is that important? Because Hunter Green throws a slider like 40% of the time. But here's the thing, if I was Hunter Green, I would be throwing the slider all the time too. His slider is filthy. Now I know that the haters are gonna say that Hunter Green has only hit this number one time so far this season, but as usual, the haters just don't get it. For starters, Green went up against the Mets and the Nationals to start the season. Those guys don't really strike out. They just don't. Go look at their K rates. Like, they're not even anywhere remotely close to the top. Like, we would never even target one of those teams. And the one team that he did actually ring up nine times, the Milwaukee Brewers, they don't really strike out that much either. My point is, Hunter Green really hasn't seen a team that he can big boy yet this season. Guess what, guys? The Seattle Mariners is that team. My guess is, he watches Logan Gilbert sit down all these reds, and he's going to then turn around and start sitting down Seattle Mariners. I'd be shocked if he didn't have this by the end of the second inning. Feels right. I'll see you guys on the live stream at 4 p.m. Eastern time today. Don't forget to turn on the notifications.